Hello, I'm Stuart McConey. I'm a writer. Obviously, I hope that becomes apparent. Uh, I'm broadcaster. And um, I wrote a book about two years ago now called Cider with Roadies, which was an account of me growing up in the north of England and loving music and how that passion for music became a kind of job in a funny way. And uh, people seem to quite like that. So I'm hoping they're going to like the new book I've written, which is called Pies and Prejudice, continuing the um, irresistible pun-based titling procedure. Um, this is about the aforementioned north of England. That's where I'm from. I'm from Wigan, which is uh, a mill town sort of between Manchester and Liverpool. And this is about me returning, in a way, to the north where I grew up and um, seeing what it's like now. Because, well, the north-south divide is something that has got a great cultural kind of significance in Britain. And it struck me that I knew quite a lot about the north and quite a lot of people both from the north and the South, and I hope from all over the world, are quite interested in what northernness and southernness mean in the context of Great Britain. One of the things that sort of inspired me to write the book was that um, I noticed that the BBC, for instance, hasn't got a South of England correspondent. But if you look at any TV broadcast, sooner or later, the North of England correspondent will pop up, and he's normally a kind of quite heavy set, jolly man in a Gore Tex anorak, and he's usually standing in a thin drizzle outside a courtroom in Halifax where there's been some terrible murder or gun siege. And there's a vision of the North as being grim, um, gritty, quite violent, but with lots of kind of cool music and football and a bit of attractive landscape. And I just wanted to find out what the real North was about and whether I still counted as a real Northerner. Something that's quoted in the book is that one day a friend of mine came around to stay for the weekend and I was pottering around in the kitchen and she said to me, we were both quite hungover, it was a Sunday morning, and she said to me, where are the sun-dried tomatoes? And I said, they're behind the cappuccino maker. And there was a horrible silence when we realised we'd become the kind of people who had cappuccino makers and sun-dried tomatoes and had sort of stopped being northerners, although that's what some people tell me anyway. So I'm hoping that the book is not just for northerners, I'm hoping it's for southerners and for anybody really who's interested in knowing what makes Britain tick and the people and the places and the culture and the climate and the food and the sport and the fashion and the music and all those sorts of things that uh, go to make up Britain. I go to Yorkshire, I'm a Lancastrian, so going to Yorkshire is a bit like a Serb going to Croatia, I guess. Um, I go to the Great North, I go to the Lake District, I go to Liverpool, I go to Blackpool, I go to pretty much everywhere really and, um, well, I hope you enjoy the ride.